I feel like Tom cried at like Taxi Driver or something once. Like something really like. <laughs> he just wanted to drive his taxi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that mohawk looks really good. Man, the version of me that lives in your heads is. <laughs> I am There's, talking to you. I yeah. am talking to you. I'm trying to be your friend. You're not alone. I just want to communicate. I just were trying to have a dialogue. You did a really good job making a slidey gun. Yeah. So today we're going to talk about the most tear-jerking moments from animated movies. Now, obviously, not all animated movies will make you cry. Some that do are the ones that you remember fondly or the ones that you never want to watch again. But anyway, we've got a list here on Looper.com full of movies that might make you cry. Nina, what are some tear-jerking moments from animated movies that reliably can make you cry? Ooh, um, well, I have two fun stories about some entries on this list because I think the biggest, not offender, but the biggest tear factory in animated movies is Pixar. Like every right. Pixar movie has a moment that just makes you like, question you know, your place on earth and humanity and <laughs> if there's a God and stuff. So I once cried so loudly and intensely over the opening of Up on a <laughs> mega bus that I was taking from Philadelphia to Pittsburgh <laughs> that someone got up and moved <laughs> to a different seat. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, no, <laughs> I don't want to do this. This girl's nuts. Yeah. Um <laughs> I'd like, <laughs> like, I'd like, you, like you can imagine what that person's thinking. <laughs> oh, the moment yeah. you start weeping, they're just like, I got to sit next to the crying girl all the way to well, Pittsburgh. No, 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 Brian, they weren't sitting next to me. They were sitting behind me and they still moved oh, further no. away. <laughs> yeah. That's so much worse. It's so much worse. So, and, and it's a seven hour mega bus ride from Philadelphia to Pittsburgh. It's a really long ride. And so you watched I, up several times. That I watched it <laughs> once. I remember I had like downloaded a bunch of movies to watch on the ride. And I just like, I knew up was sad, but I didn't really think like, I guess I didn't believe people. And I was like, it won't be that sad. And then I'm like blubbering like a, like a newborn baby while people are like, uh Oh, disturbed <laughs> girl on the bus. Like, <laughs> so they've got like their phones out and they have nine and one. Yeah. First, and then they're going to hit the last one when you freak Should out. We, yeah. Should we? Yeah. yeah. So that was up. Do we that all didn't... call or does one call do it? Yeah, for it's a, a bystander effect thing. Like, can we confirm yeah. someone's doing it? Uh, do we tell the yeah. driver? We still have we six don't want hours to overload left the circuits. in this <laughs> in this ride. Yeah. So she's just that been was... watching Ellie's death on repeat for the last three <laughs> three hundred miles. And uh, okay, that I did not do. I feel like maybe she's ramping up to something. We gotta. <laughs> I found what I think like, is a manifesto or a yeah. shopping list. I'm not sure. She's, she's playing Uptown Girl at the same time. And I just think that's very suspicious. <laughs> so that was a bad one. The second one isn't even as good. That's the better story. I should have finished with that. But uh, I had, uh, the second one is Inside Out, which I had seen five times already by the time I turned it on on an airplane. And I know uh -huh. that there is like a... There's like a science reason why people cry more on airplanes. It's like has to do with like air pressure or something. There is there have actually oh. been studies about this, which I can tell you is true because a good friend of mine once cried over Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle on an airplane, and that's his excuse. <laughs> oh um, no. That's good but, to know because I yeah. have a story next. Yeah. yeah. So I turned on Inside Out. I was like, I've seen this movie before. I'm a nervous flyer, so I kind of like to watch stuff I've seen because it's like comforting mm -hmm. to me. And Amy Poehler started to speak, and I burst into tears and was like, never mind. <laughs> next movie. I don't know why. I don't, I'm like, I'd already seen it. I, it, anyway, my pick is Boo from Monsters, Inc. The end of that movie makes me ball. It's so sad. Boo is so cute. The mm -hmm. relationship with Sully is so good. Mm -hmm. Monsters, Inc. is probably, I would say, probably my my second favorite Pixar movie. And I think Inside Out is first. But Monsters, Inc. has a very special place in my heart. It's funny. It's heartwarming. And like when he has to say goodbye to her and she doesn't fully comprehend that that's what's happening and is right. like trying to play with him, like that is just so crushing. Oh, that's really sad. When she opens up the closet door, yeah. he's not there. Yeah. Oh. No, I'm like, I'm like getting mm -hmm. like emotional thinking about it. So mm -hmm. I can't, I should stop talking about it, but I love, <laughs> let's, let's quick, end the video. Quick. Yeah. <laughs> no, what Monsters grade Inc were you in when you saw that movie? What grade were you in? What year 12. did Monsters Inc come out? 12. Um, no, what year did Monsters Inc come out? It was like, like 97. To, I think no, I was, was probably that. Monsters Inc. came out in 2001. So it oh, came out okay. when I was uh, like 10 or 11, depending on time of year. So I probably saw it shortly after. I was probably like 11. And I'm I sure I just college. wept. Well, Brian, <laughs> I thought you were teaching at a university because you'd already graduated years Yeah, I was in college. I had years. tenure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Because you're old. Yeah. Anyway. Because I'm so old. Um, okay. I'd like to jump off what you said. anthropology class yeah. from Dr. Henry Jones Jr. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Um, so, yeah. So inside out. <laughs> yeah. Inside out, though. Mm-hmm. That movie didn't, didn't do much for me. And you here's have mentioned why. that. Yeah. The reason is because I spent so long like getting wrapped up in my own head, trying to figure out like how the inside of this kid's head worked. Like the mythology of this universe. Yeah. I was like, how do like, do they like, are these little guys who aren't the emotions? Like, do they live? Like, do they have apartments? Like, (laughs) do they go to sleep when she goes to sleep? But what about the people? Like, I like, couldn't, I couldn't figure out like the municipality situation. Okay, I, I don't disagree like, with, with you on this. You. This is actually I had the same thing. I was like, so okay. wait, does she have any agency in her own life, or are it we was, all just? I couldn't stop thinking about yeah. the structures of her mind. You guys and suck. how the the people <laughs> living in her brain function and how they live. I was like, hang on a second, I ca- I can't because if it's just the emotions, if it was for me, if it was just the emotions in the mm-hmm. main part of the brain that you saw the stars of the show. I'd be like, all right, fine. Got it. Herman's head, but for kids. Got it. I'm down. No problem. But then you start inter- introducing like these pipes mm-hmm. and these like the movie studio for the dream situation and Bing Bong shows up. And I'm like, Whoa. I like to think that this is your thought process on like any movie where you're like, you know, it's all <laughs> well and good, but then there's pipes. I don't know anymore. <laughs> How could yeah. Maslow's know. even get into the pipe in the first place? I c- and I Hogwarts just can't be real out. because magic doesn't exist. No, I'm just saying I couldn't. That particular movie took me out of it just because I couldn't quite That's wrap my head around really it. Really interesting too, because there was a huge like push with that movie where like neurologists worked with the writers right. to figure out like a way to depict how like the memory, like the memory system is like we have core memories and then we kind of have like subsidiary ones. Like the I ones mean, that do we're you throwing ever out. Think about thinking. Do you ever think about thinking and get freaked out about how you're looking at something, even though you're looking well, at the window? Now I will, and, that's and I have plenty of anxiety yeah. already. So thanks a lot, Brian. You're very <laughs> welcome. Anyway, my pick. I don't really is think about most things. Toy Story 3. Okay. Uh. Um, so here oh, the one Toy where Story the toys 3, accept their death. That was the one. That was the moment. So here on the Looper.com article, we have it's where Andy gives the toys to, to that Bonnie. That is really sad. That's oh. really sad. That's a, that's a very good moment for this. But for me, it was when they're all in the yeah. incinerator yeah. holding hands. And my my wife- <laughs> They've all come to terms with it. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. oh, and I just started, I was crying like a maniac because yeah. I was just like, what is happening? Like these, these toys are about to die. Like I yeah. 1 million percent thought that the toys were about to die. So Pixar does this a lot. Like they play very <laughs> fast and loose with like, like in Wally, when he like gets yeah. reset, you're like, he's gone forever. Like it, you're, yeah. you're convinced, right? They, they're yeah. very good yeah. at being like, no. We've taken this character away from you. Like, and it's never it happened. Cruel. No. <laughs> it's never happened. I don't know why I keep falling for it. It's because Probably we're all adults with trust issues. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is exactly why I don't – and I, I – I know I'm 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 not about to make any friends. I re, I I don't like Pixar, guys. Oh no! And it's Shut because the video off. of Shut that. The video off. I have you don't like the floor. how manipulative they are. That's exactly it. Like it, yeah. so, I think that Inside Out had the most indicative example of this and it's the scene where they're like we're gonna make richard kind into a cartoon elephant and then have him say goodbye everybody like we're there was no reason to do that besides that they couldn't afford to send a guy to every theater and stomp on the audience's feet one at a time and that's what pixar that's movies not true. they can afford to do that every sink they could afford to do that that's true <laughs> I'm going to animate one fewer good dinosaur. And then, yeah. If can. anyone could be your sad, disappearing imaginary friend, it's Richard Kind. Like, they yeah, didn't even no, have to make him an elephant. Casting. They could have just animated they Richard. They could have just been him. Yeah. They just wrote a scope in there. Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. No, he's true. I had the same thing. The first time that I noticed it was was with Up. And it was the first time that like I, I got physically angry at a, at a Pixar movie. It was Were the, you on a mega bus? I was, <laughs> I was on an Amtrak. <laughs> I, had to, 
They disconnected my car and they abandoned me in the middle of the Appalachian Mountain. I, uh, no, so like the year that Up came out, I think, I think it was 2008. Is that right? Nine, I think. 2009. It was the, it was this, ter- it was this really rough year for my family. Like my, 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 my dad was going through a bunch of stuff and we're like, you know what we should do as kids? We should, we should, we should take my dad out to see a fun movie. Let's go see a fun oh, cartoon together. Oh, and no. uh, then the first oh, five no. minutes of that movie were, hey, don't forget that everybody dies alone. Let's all just oh, sit in no. silence and contemplate the fact that everybody dies alone. And they do that in every single one of those movies. And it drives me up the wall. Like, I, I understand that we're trying to make an, uh, an emotionally connective story. But my God, man. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Dick move. I'm just imagining. <laughs> I'm again, like it's happened to you and your family, and that yeah. that bums me out because I know you no, guys. It, yeah, but in the abstract, the idea that like you as a family are going through a rough time, and you're like, I know what we need. Let's see a, a fun Pixar cartoon. movie, right? Yeah, yeah. no. It, I, <laughs> the, I have a similar story. Uh, after my grandpa died, I took my cousin to the movies to distract ourselves from it, and we saw The Master of Disguise. Yeah. <laughs> That, that didn't That's fix the whole it. story. <laughs> well, I mean, it took of, my mind off. It took yeah. my mind off my dead grandpa for ninety minutes, and I was like, "What is this?" <laughs> when my remember- dad was having his hip replaced, my friend took me to see A Star Is Born, which is not a happy ending of oh, a film. Whoops! And nope. I remember being like, "Well, I'm distracted at least by being they very sad about this a movie star instead." Will die. Oh. Oh. It's an ironic name <laughs> considering how the movie goes. Anyway. Um, other picks for this list. So Tom, so you you didn't have any picks for this list. Iron Giant, though. Iron Giant is high on my list. Did it's that a great one make choice. you cry? I've never I've, I've never cried. You guys. <laughs> when he's so I'm gonna I'm gonna spoil Iron Giant, and so I've already spoiled okay. it in one of our previous videos. I'm gonna spoil it now again. So just click away or mute me. Okay, so he's flying up explodes. in the sky through space towards the nuke and he goes Superman because yeah. he learned that Superman's a hero because he, just and he saw closes Eternals. his eyes and then he blows up sacrificing himself to save the earth it's so sad it's it like kills me every time okay spoilers are over that that never made you cry <laughs> nah no nah, I didn't really feel anything no right. when Tom well, was to born watch- he didn't cry he just made eye contact with his mother and was like What's I did up? I stared her down <laughs> I know what like, you're gonna do Big mistake. <laughs> Shouldn't have done now that, it's my Mom. Turn. Uh, another really good one on this list. Tom, did you see Coco? I never saw Coco. That is a Coco Pixar is movie, a good one so. where he's so he's so he he connects with uh, his grandma and plays the song the song that that her father had played for her. And man, that again, my wife and I saw that in the theaters, and we just were like weeping. But that was like a weirdly emotional day for us for some reason, because that was the movie that opened with the Olaf's insane Christmas short, <laughs> the 20 minute short. And that's when that, made cry yeah. too. that made oh, us okay. cry too. And I don't I thought, know why. I thought you were saying that you were just particularly vulnerable that day because you got to watch so much extra Olaf. <laughs> Olaf. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but Olaf going around trying to find what makes everybody happy on the holidays smashed my soul. It was just like... <laughs> Goose, you're gonna cry now because holidays are magic. And I was just like, yeah, they are magic. It's like Everybody taking whatever drug they give you holiday. when you get your wisdom teeth taken Brian, out. Brian, have you ever like, cried over it. Nutcracker in the Four Realms? I need to see that movie. It will pro- maybe it'll it. make you cry. I hope so. I'd like I feel it. like um, I feel like Tom cried at like Taxi Driver or something once. Like something really like <laughs> He just wanted to drive his taxi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that Mohawk looks really good. <laughs> Man, the version of me that lives in your heads is. Just, I am just, talking to you. I am talking to you. I'm trying to be your friend. You're not alone. I just want to communicate. I just we're trying to have a dialogue. You did a really good job making a slidey gun. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, the only other one I want to add that isn't on this list, um, but for me. So you mentioned that apparently you're more s- susceptible to crying on planes, which is really good to know because I saw Moana on a plane. And that so did got I. me immediately. So did yeah. I. Where, yeah. Oh my God. It's just, and it's like, it's, and I have like PTSD from it because we play mm-hmm. the soundtrack for our kids sometimes. And even that fun opening song, 
when the, when uh, they sing that line and no one leaves, and I'm just like, oh, no one leaves because they used to be wayfarers. They so used to I cried at the end of that movie, yeah. and I was flying with my friend who's like, mm-hmm. kind of like, like she's a if a Shiba Inu was a person, like she doesn't cry a lot. <laughs> Oh, and I was like, oh no, I don't want her to see me cry. Like I've never cried in front of her. This is so weird. But I looked over and she was crying too. And I was like, yes, thank God. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we're both, we're both losers. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. I told my wife on the flight, like I watched that on the flight and she like fell asleep and I was just like, you should watch Moana. It made me cry a lot. And she watched it. She was like, that was fine. She like had no reaction to it. She's yeah. just like, yeah, I guess it was okay. Yeah. The only other instance I can think of where that kind of thing happened on a plane was I saw Game Night on a plane. I didn't cry. I just laughed like such an like an idiot. Did I you didn't cry during Game Night? No, yeah. I didn't cry during Game Night, but I was worried that people were going to want to change seats because I was laughing like a maniac. Um, Try so yeah, crying next time. Planes. They will move. <laughs> <laughs> Get my own seat. Yeah. I think a lot of people shot by an air marshal. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please hit like and subscribe. And if you watch this far, please hit something and leave a comment to tell us that you did because I don't believe that anyone's looking at me right now. <laughs> <laughs>